Hey guys, this is going to be a really fun video. In this video, I'm going to attempt to prove that I can use an 8 GPM machine and only a 100 gallon buffer tank to clean all of this concrete all the way down to the street, all around this turnabout, all the concrete here, all the way up the driveway, around to this garage area, and then this walkway here. Using an 8 GPM machine and a 100 gallon buffer tank. Now, the reason that I'm doing this today is because I've been challenged. The last two comments on my most recent video were asking, how in the world do you plan to use an 8 GPM machine in a 100 gallon buffer tank? I will tell you that as of yet, I've had zero problems with any of my washes. In fact, most of the time I'll come around the corner and the tank is overflowing. We have wonderful water pressure here in our area and I'm confident that this house will as well. And just to prove, I have zero water in the tank. Just that little bit right there. So, hey guys, Mike here. I hate to interrupt the video, but I'm dying to tell you about the 2026 Smoky Mountain Wash Retreat in Gatlinburg, Tennessee. January the 22nd through the 26th, it's going to be a phenomenal time for you and your family to get away and fellowship, learn and grow with like-minded people surrounding the idea and the concept of pressure washing. It's going to be wonderful. Click the link in the description below to get your ticket and book a room. Feel free to ask questions. And here's a testimony of last year's retreat. You're going to love it. Hey guys, my name is Dave Marklin. I'm from Lynchburg Pro Wash out of Lynchburg, Virginia. Let me tell you, if you did not come to this year's retreat, you are missing out. The wealth of knowledge, the years of experience, and all the tips and tricks that you would want in your business, you're getting it here. You're getting the knowledge, the food, the fun, and especially the fellowship. We had a great time. Much of what I learned and took away from is just the, the ability to learn and meet new people here. It's not all about business. Sometimes it's about the relationships. So when you want an opportunity in next year to come to the retreat, don't miss out. So first things first, we're going to pull our supply line to the hose bib and then we'll get started. So don't go anywhere. Okay, so we have 100 feet of three quarter inch supply line ran from the spigot all the way down these steps and then into our buffer tank. Now, before anyone asks, I'll go ahead and answer the question. Do I use my hose reels for storage or do I run through the hose reel and then to the buffer tank? The answer is simple. I always use my hose reels for storage only. This blue line runs right into the top of the tank and that allows for zero restrictions. I have 150 feet of 3 8 inch pressure hose ran to the far side of the house. That's where we'll begin. I'll be using the Waterball 750 to pre-treat all of the concrete, at least in sections. And we'll do that using our Clean Stream Pro. So before we begin, notice that it's only been a few minutes. I'm already at the 90 plus gallons line here on my 100 gallon buffer tank. I do not have a Hudson float valve, so any overflow will simply fall out into the bed of the truck. I've got to get me a float valve. So all told, this is 5,124 square feet of concrete that I will be pre-treating, washing, and then post-treating. Again, my goal is to see if a 100 gallon buffer tank can keep up with an eight GPM machine. If not, I'll go back to the shop, pick up Jazzy. Jazzy is equipped with 330 gallons I would bring all of that with me, but I have a good feeling about this. You don't want to miss this video. Okay, I've pre-treated all of this area here along with this walkway. Now let's walk down here and see what our water level looks like on Jeffrey. It's 
overflowing should be good i'm going to begin with the mini mondo now i have done a trigger delete i've also added the y connector there so i get optimal flow and this by the way is a great test to see if the mini mondo can be pushed with an agpm machine I'm going to take it a little bit slower. I'm either going to have to take it slower or go over it twice. I'm confident that the 19-inch whisper wash would not leave these lines. So we may switch over to the 19-inch whisper wash. Yeah, I think I'm gonna like the 19 inch a little bit better. I think it's gonna move faster. Okay, I'm gonna finish this section, rinse and post treat, and then we'll go down and check our water level, see where we stand. Okay, we're done post treating. And yes, I did move the planters. Let's go down here and see what our water level looks like. Yep. We're overflowing. Yeah, I have no reason to believe that that's gonna change anytime soon, but we're gonna do the rest of the driveway. We'll check back in, don't go anywhere. Hey guys, Mike here. Hey, listen, I am super excited about the latest venture that we have here at Ready Wash Systems fresh skids. We have eight foot skids, six and a half foot skids, and five and a half foot skids, and we have them in stock. So if you're looking to upgrade your current skid or add a skid to the truck, look no further. Ready Wash Systems fresh skids. www.readywashsystems.com where we stand on water. Oh, I see. <laughs> so I have the hole for the Hudson float valve. I just haven't gotten the Hudson float valve yet, so I gotta place that order. Okay, so we washed all the concrete from the steps up here all the way down, all of these steps and all the way down. I gotta come back Thursday to wash just that portion of roof. I've washed the other portions last year and that, but it's dirty again right there. So I'm gonna come back, it's under warranty. I will hit that and then wash from the steps all of the concrete there. So there you have it. Can the 100 gallon buffer tank keep up with an 8 GPM machine? Well, it is, and then some. I tell you, we have very good water flow around here. That being said, I really think that I could have ran my 10 and an eight and still have similar results. We are now in the full rig building business, Ready Wash Systems, www.readywashsystems.com. If you're wanting uh, a five and a half foot skid, a six and a half foot skid, or an eight foot skid with all the equipment, much like what you see here with an eight GPM machine, 100 gallon buffer tank, hose reels, surface cleaner racks, the whole nine yards, we can set you up. We have our very first one being built almost as we speak. And I believe we have a buyer for that one already, but uh, you can 
order one and we can get to you within two weeks or so at this point. So I'm very, very excited about that. Also, don't forget the Clean Stream Pro. If you are looking for a full remote control bypass for downstreaming, look no further than the Clean Stream Pro. Again, you can find it on my website, www.readywashsystems.com. This has been a very fun wash. Very fun wash. Should probably turn off the water now so I'm no longer wasting it. Mike, the fresh rinse, and I'm out.